we're going to talk about the mole. It's the fundamental SI unit for the amount of a substance. But before we do that, let's talk about some other um, similar types of units that we've used for things that are much more in our regular everyday use. When you talk about a pair of objects, you're talking about having two of them, a pair of shoes. Talk about a dozen, you've got 12 of them. Maybe you've heard of a baker's dozen, which means you've got 13 items of whatever it is that you're talking about. A gross is a dozen dozen, or 144. You might have a gross of pencils, for example. Some of you may have heard of a score. A score is 20. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation. That's what Abraham Lincoln said in his Gettysburg Address. So four score and seven, four times 20 is 80, plus seven is 87. So if you add 87 to 1776, you get 1863, and that's when the Gettysburg Address took place. Those are all numbers to talk about a group or quantity of objects, and that's fine in this macro world, but when we get down to the atomic world, we're talking about very, very small objects. And so to talk about two atoms or a dozen atoms or molecules isn't gonna do us any good. Um, what we need is a much larger way of talking about them, and that's the mole. And the mole has an abbreviation of M-O-L. Not much of an abbreviation, just like you lost one letter, but that's what it is. And what the mole is going to be defined as, it's going to be 6.022-14076 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever it is that you have. It could be atoms or molecules or electrons or ions or protons or neutrons or pennies pencils or whatever, a mole is 6.022-14076 times 10 to the 23rd of those objects. Most of the time, we only need to carry this out to four seed figs, but if you need more of that, that's what it's going to be. So the mole is the fundamental SI unit of amount of substance. It's equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever it is that you're talking about, and that is referred to as Avogadro's number. Avogadro did not come up with the number, but we've named this number in honor of him for his work. Uh, you know, Avogadro's law that said that um, equal volumes of gases at the same pressure and temperature will contain equal amounts or number of particles. And so from that, we're, to honor him, we um, have called this number Avogadro's number.